Greetings, everyone. Brad here with Mild Mannered EDC. Today, we're going to talk about what, in my view, is the, I think for the price, the best large slip joint option out there on the market. And uh, it's a knife that I've enjoyed having in my collection for a while now. And I really think it's worth a look if you're in the market for that larger size uh, slip joint and don't necessarily want to spend, and let's say you want to spend less than 100 bucks, because that's definitely where this falls in, in terms of price. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. And this is the Real Steel G-Slip. Now, the G-Slip uh, is an O-Stop Hell design. There you go. It is made, as I said, by Real Steel Knives, which is a manufacturer out of China. And it just really offers a lot for essentially anywhere between, you know, 50 to 65 bucks, depending on, you know, materials, etc. Maybe get it on sale. I don't know. Like, I, this isn't the newest knife out there in the world, but it's definitely um, still getting some iterations to it uh, in terms of material options and other things, depending on the retailer. So I do really think, you know, that this is something worth taking a look at if you're interested in slip joints and in larger size knives in particular. So let's go ahead and do a few specs here to talk about what I'm, you know, and this isn't an outrageously large knife or anything, right? But but for a slip joint, it's pretty darn big, I think. And it comes in with a blade length of 3.46 inches and a blade thickness of 0 0.9 inches, uh, 0 0.09 inches. Otherwise, that'd be really thick. Um, 0 0.09 inches. So very, very thin and reasonable blade stock there. You've got a handle length when it's closed up of 4.37 inches and a handle thickness of 0 0.43. That gives you an overall, when it's all opened up, of nearly an 8-inch slip joint. That's right. This is a 7.87-inch uh, slip joint knife. And you got a weight on it of just 2.4 ounces. Now, I don't know if the there are some other materials out there, a, um, G10 and some other things. I don't know if they, if they weigh more or less uh, than this particular micarta variant, but I can't imagine it's by a huge uh, difference. So regardless, three point, you know, almost three and a half inch knife, 2.4 ounces. Yeah, that's, that's pretty darn good and pretty darn carryable. So what it is, what is it that I like about this knife apart, apart from the, the size and apart from the price? Well, there's a few things and we'll kind of run through them here. But before we do that, maybe we should do a couple of size comparisons just to see. So one of my other favorite large um, slip joints here is the Great Eastern Cutlery Bull Buster. There you go. So that's kind of how that fits in. And then maybe just to, as a comparison here, let's use the standard mild-mannered Swiss Army knife. So that's what you kind of get in terms of size. Now, the Great Eastern Cutlery, the GEC here, is roughly the same price, maybe a bit more, uh, and maybe a slight bit larger. It certainly is in terms of, uh, it certainly is in terms of thickness and weight, um, more substantial than the G-Slip. But as we'll see, I think there's a few other things that this has going for it in particular. So let's talk about the blade. So what do we got on this blade? We have a, if you can see it there, VG10. So this is VG10 steel. You know, for the price, that's 50 to 65 bucks. I think that's pretty darn acceptable uh, for VG10 steel, which is a perfectly acceptable, more budget end type steel. And in fact, I think it's, you could argue, it's 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 kind of a level or two up maybe from pure budget steel. It's something like, you know, uh, HCR, obviously, or something like that, or even, you know, something that some of these other knives come in. So I think VG10 on this for that price and for this much of it uh, is a pretty pretty darn reasonable. You've got this drop point blade, you've got a satin finish, kind of full flat grind, well, at least um, a, a grind that starts from uh, the fuller here. And you do have that fuller, which gives uh, just sort of a nice aesthetic appeal. You do also have what is essentially a crowned spine. Um, I don't know if that's technically what it is, but it definitely sort of feels that way to me. Either that or it's just really, really well chamfered. So other than that, and the all stop hell um, uh, little insignia here and that VG10 marking, you have a pretty darn sterile blade. So this is just overall, I think, a really, really good slicing blade. It's thin, it's pointy, <laughs> uh, it's got a lot of flat to it, a nice little bit of belly. It's long enough to do some of those bigger tasks you might want to do. Um, you know, it's just, I think there's a lot to like about this particular blade uh, on the G-Slip. So I really enjoy that. Now let's talk about action a little bit. And, you know, we talk action on slip joints, you know, walk and talk, yada, yada. I'm, I'm not a slip joint expert. So, you know, I'm sure I'll 
probably get lit up in the comments for <laughs> misusing a term here and there. But what I will say on this as a slip joint is it does have a three quarter stop. So it stops about right there as you're opening it. And then you bring it back into full kind of open position. Uh, in that position, you have pretty decent tension. Uh, and, you know, and I was kind of thinking about this. I'm like, well, what is it comparable to for folks? And, I, you know, I, I took the GEC out and I'm like, the GEC yeah, is pretty similar. Uh, I think the GEC has a better sort of walk and talk uh, if you want to use that. But in terms of the the tension on the on the um, spring in the back. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that it's any better or worse than that. Um, and in fact, I think it's actually probably pretty comparable yeah, I think it's pretty darn comparable to a Swiss Army knife as well. So overall, I think it's got a nice uh, a nice tension to it. It's not just going to come easily closed on your hand, which is always a worry for, for a lot of folks with slip joints. And this just doesn't seem to have any issues there. So, so I like that it's got a pretty nice tension. And even if it does, it's only going three quarters of the way. And you see, I did that and I wasn't really in fear that it was going to come slamming shut on my fingers. So uh, you give it a little nudge the rest of the way and there you go. So... That's what we've got with this. So I think the action on it is pretty darn good. I like the spring tension and I think it gets the job done. Now, as I, as I think I mentioned a, a bit ago, this does come in some other variants. Um, this particular one is a Knife Center exclusive with the micarta, the brown micarta, which I think is actually quite nice, although it does tend to dry out quite a bit. So I tend to use some mineral oil on it to keep it a little more uh, of this darker brown. Um, but yeah, no worries there. But there are a few other variants of this uh, in terms of colors. You can get some really bright colors, yellows, whatever out there, uh, oranges, you know, anything. There's, like I said, a lot. So, you know, if this doesn't, I, I think that's cool. I think for, for the money, you're able to, you know, kind of get one that suits your, your aesthetics a little bit better. So there you go. Now, a couple things about hardware here. Um, you've got this large, <laughs> these large pivots, a uh, large pivot here. You've got a uh, stainless steel wire clip, which we'll talk about more in a second. And then you've got the micarta. And then uh, you do have full liners on this. So this does have stainless steel liners, which have been uh, skeletonized out. I don't know if you can see that very well. You can sort of see it, I guess. I don't know. Um, that have been skeletonized to kind of help reduce weight. So again, you've got something very firm, very sturdy, and pretty darn well made. I will say, this is my, my biggest complaint about sort of hardware is, and I'll try to throw a picture up here because I did it once. <laughs> I took this apart once and, oh man, was that a mistake. Um, that's the biggest kind of sort of gripe I have about this knife is it is just a bear to get, to take apart and put back, put back together. There's a lot of little parts. Um, it's just not simple. Yeah. I mean, it's, so if there's anything that I would really heavily critique this knife on, it is that. It is not the most simply put together <laughs> uh, slip joint knife out there. So Anyways, there you go. That would probably be my biggest complaint there on that. But let's talk about carry for, for a second. So when you're carrying this, right, you've got essentially a very compact, very stick-like um, knife that you can keep in your pocket. You can keep it deep carry with this really nice wire clip that is also, uh, it is tip up, but it's also reversible. So you, it's, this is totally an ambidextrous uh you know, left hand, right hand, user friendly knife. Most slip joints are, but with the carry being reversible like that, or the clip rather being reversible like that, it just adds that level of thoughtfulness and usability for folks. So I think that's pretty darn great. And in terms of ergos, right, again, you know, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty much a straightforward handle there, but I think it fits pretty darn well. And as I mentioned, even with that action, kind of keep my thumb up here, which is often what I like to do when I'm kind of cutting through things. I don't feel like I'm just immediately going to close this knife down. It's got enough tension to sort of keep me there. I also think because of the way the blade is, you're able to actually do some of these, you know, if you wanted to use this for food prep, for example, or to get through an apple, you've got enough blade to actually do that and to do it comfortably with, you know, kind of a couple different grips here. So, you know, from the standpoint of ergos, as well as the ease of carry, I also think this is pretty darn good. So overall, I'll just stop there. I want to try to get under that 10 minute mark to try to keep this a little more brief, as I mentioned from the promise from the beginning. I like this knife a lot. I think it's for the value. It's one of the best large slip joints out there on the market. If it looks good to you or is interesting to you, I recommend you go pick one up. So with that, thanks very much for watching. Stay safe out there. Be mild mannered to one another and all the best.